Hello and welcome back guys to another Alpha Math video. In this lesson, we'll be focusing on the Pythagorean theorem. The two shorter sides are labeled A and B and the longer side is labeled C. Now, the formula is that A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. By the way, we call the longer side the hypotenuse. So you'll be hearing me using that word every now and then in this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at our first example and we're going to solve x for this triangle. We have our two shorter sides being three and four and then our longer side, the hypotenuse x. So let's follow that formula. But now instead of me writing it as a squared plus b squared equal to c squared, I'm rather going to swap it around and write it like this c squared equal to a squared plus b squared. The reason I'm thinking about doing it like this is because the hypotenuse is the thing that I'm trying to calculate, right? So I want to make that the subject of the formula. So let's substitute c with x. c will be our x. a is going to be, well, let a be 3 and we'll let uh, b be equal to 4. The values that you see on the triangle. Okay, so substituting in gives us x squared equal to, now we're going to substitute a and b, 3 squared plus 4 squared. Okay, 3 squared is equal to 9, that's 3 times 3, 4 squared is equal to 16. Okay, add these up, 9 plus 16 is equal to 25, and the square root of 25 is equal to 5. So therefore, x is equal to 5. And that is the length of the hypotenuse. If you have a triangle with 3, 4 uh, being the shorter sides, then 5 is the hypotenuse. In fact, this is a very popular triangle. And you'll notice that it even works for the multiples of 3, 4, and 5. So if you wrote out a similar triangle that maybe had lengths of 6, 8, and 10, you'll see that 6 squared plus 8 squared is equal to 10 squared. Okay, and any multiple of 3, 4, and 5. Okay, let's move on to our next example. Now for question 2, again we have our shorter sides being 5 and 12, and then our longer side is y. That is the unknown. So remember the formula a squared plus b squared equal to c squared? Again, I'm going to write it like this. c squared equal to a squared plus b squared. Because the longest line, the hypotenuse, is the thing that we are trying to calculate. Okay, let y be equal to c, let a be equal to 5, and let b be equal to 12. Okay, so substitute this into your formula. That gives us y squared equal to 5 squared plus 12 squared. Okay, now square these values. So 5 times 5 is 25 and 12 times 12 is 144. Okay, now the sum of 144 plus uh, 25 is equal to 169 and then let's again Find the square root on both sides to get y all on its own. Turns out the square root of 169 is 13. Okay, so that would be the length for this line over here. The length of that line would be 13 units. Moving on to our third example. This one's going to be a bit different because the side that we are trying to calculate is one of the shorter sides. Okay, so A and 15 are the shorter sides and 17 is the hypotenuse, the long side. Now let's write out our formula. A squared plus B squared equal to C squared. Notice and I don't have a problem writing it this way because A is what I'm trying to calculate. So we can start with A squared, that's the unknown value. Then we're going to add 15 squared and it's going to be equal to 17 squared. Now, 15 squared is 225, and then 17 squared 
is 289 okay now you want to subtract 225 on both sides okay the purpose for this is to cancel the 225 on the left hand side and therefore a squared would be equal to 64. Now find the square root of a squared and the square root of 64. This will be a equal to 8 and that's the answer for the shorter side. a is 8 units. Moving on to question number 4. Here we have a short side that's given as 7 units and then another shorter side which is given as b and then the longer side of this triangle given as 25. Now how do I know that this is the longer side and not maybe b? Well that's because the longer side, in other words the hypotenuse, is always opposite the 90 degree angle. Now our formula is a squared plus b squared equal to c squared and uh, we'll leave it like this because we're trying to solve b so let's substitute for a and c let a be the 7 over here and c will be the 25 7 squared is 49 and 25 squared i believe is 625 that's 25 times 25 okay Subtract the 49 on both sides of the equation to get rid of the 49 on the left-hand side of the equation. Alright, so that leaves us with b squared equal to 576. Okay, take the square root now on both sides. The square root of 576 is 24. And that is the length of B, 24 units. And didn't we say it was going to be less than this one? Yes, because C is the hypotenuse. So it had to be less than C. Okay, but those numbers were a little easy to manipulate because we were dealing with rational integer values. What about if you had irrational numbers, like in this triangle? Here, one of the shorter sides of the triangle is labeled the square root of 13 and the square root of 13 is an irrational number so how do we go about this let's first start off the usual way we'll write our formula a squared plus b squared equal to c squared okay label the square root 13 the irrational value label that a and label the other shorter side b and then this will be labeled C. Right, now let's do direct substitution. So C squared would be X squared, um, and then A squared will be the square root of 13, and then B would be six. Okay, now watch this. When we square the irrational value, the square of the square root of 13 is just equal to 13 itself so that's just 13 and then 6 squared would be 6 times 6 which is 36 um, add up these values 13 plus 36 that should give us 49 okay 49 ah and the square root of 49 is 7 so find the square root on both sides and you'll see that x is equal to 7. This is the length of the hypotenuse value, 7 units. Moving on to a last and final question, um, let's have a look at question 6. Here again we have this shorter side being an irrational value. We don't know what the other shorter side is, um, but 8 is the hypotenuse. So we are going to use the hypotenuse and the one short side to calculate y. Let's keep in mind that the 90 degree angle is over there. Now we can write our formula. a squared plus b squared equal to c squared. Substitute a with uh, one of the shorter sides. So I'm going to substitute a with y 
and b would be this value over here 3 squared root 2 and then c is going to be 8 squaring the 3 squared root 2 and also squaring the hypotenuse 8. Um, let's first have a look at what happens with the 3 squared root 2 once that is squared. Um, 3 becomes 9 because 3 times 3 is 9. That's what happens when you square something. The square root of 2, once you square that, that simply just becomes 2. Okay. And 8 times 8 is 64. Right. Now, uh, 9 times 2. I'm sort of just simplifying this value over here. 9 times 2 is 18. Let's now subtract 18 to both sides of the equation. Y squared equal to, because the 18s cancel out, so simply equal to 64 minus 18, which is equal to 46. Now, all that's left to do is to find the square root of this value. And uh, this is going to be an irrational number. And therefore, this is going to be equal to the square root of 46. It can't be simplified further than that, so we'll just leave it as such. And that, students, is the Pythagorean theorem. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and stay tuned for more.